start with the pattern pieces. For the Laurent hoodie, you will need one front, one back, two sleeves, four hood pieces, two in the main fabric, two in the lining, hemband pieces and cuffs and ribbing, and one pocket. The kangaroo pocket. Fold the long angled edges to the wrong side and press. Finish the raw edges with a serger or a zigzag stitch. Then fold back into position and top stitch with a long straight stitch without stretching the fabric. Press the seam allowances of the short edges to the wrong side of the fabric and press. Then fold the pocket in half and press to mark the center. Mark the center on the front piece the same way. Pin wrong side of the pocket to right side of front, centers together. Then, keeping the pocket seam allowances folded, edge stitch along the top edge, sides and bottom. Use a straight stitch without stretching the fabric. Take the time to make a few back stitches at the end to secure the stitch. The lined hood. Pin and stitch the main fabric pieces together and then sew the lining pieces together. Pin the main fabric to its lining, right sides together, matching the seams, and stitch along the long straight edge. Bring hood pieces wrong sides together. Bring the hood pieces wrong sides together. Then pin bottom edges together and baste with the zigzag, matching notches, seams, and shoulder marks. Mark the top stitch line 2.5 cm, 1 inch, from edge, and top stitch without stretching the fabric. Overlap the corners, matching the single notches, and baste. The hood is now ready to be attached to the neckline. To create the neckline, pin front to back at shoulder seams and stitch without stretching the fabric. With the garment wrong side out, pin the outside of the hood to the right side of the neckline, matching centers and notches. Align the shoulder marks that you see on the hood with the shoulder seams and stitch. Everything should be nicely aligned, thanks to all the markings you used. Let's complete the assembly. Pin each sleeve to its armhole, matching the single notches. Here's a tip. When sewing a sleeve, always put the sleeve on the feed dogs, with your armhole on top. It is much easier to sew and handle pieces that way. Now, bring the sleeves and sides right sides together and pin. Match your seams and notches at the side and underarm and stitch. We're now ready to add the cuffs. Finishing a sleeve with a cuff is easy. First, fold the cuff piece right sides together and stitch using a straight stitch. This will allow you to open the seam allowance when you fold wrong sides together. It will minimize bulk. Insert the cuff into the sleeve opening, raw edges together, and seams together. You will have to stretch the cuff as you sew to fit the opening, because the cuff is slightly smaller than the opening. The technique for the hemband is very similar. Pin hemband pieces right sides together and stitch. Use a straight stitch. 
open the seam allowance and fold wrong sides together. Because the band is quite big, we recommend basting the raw edges together with a zigzag before moving on to the next step. Make sure you align center marks and seams when basting to avoid shifting the fabric. Bin the hemband to the right side of your garment at the bottom edge, matching centers and seams. Use only four pins. The difference between the band and the opening is more noticeable here. Stretch the band between the pins to fit the opening as you sew. It is important to stretch the band only, not the main fabric. Turn right side out and you're done! The Laurent pattern is available online and at your favorite jelly reseller. The pattern includes sizes for kids, teens and adults. Visit our website for more information about the pattern and to share photos of your jelly sewing projects. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching!